Let's see if I can move any of these lines. I'm going to escape. I can move that, so that means that I should have been able to... Alright, this is what I'm going to do here. This is going to be 0.25. Well, these are parallel. These are parallel. These two are parallel together. That's good. These two are perpendicular. That's good. These two are coincident with each other. These are parallel. These are. That's good. So they're all pretty much what I want. Look at that. Still 0.13, which means that it's not parallel. Okay. I think that has to do with. Maybe it's an angle, I don't know. Let's, let's try making this, these two parallel with each other. This parallel. Okay, here we go. And then this parallel. Okay, yeah, that one was already parallel with that one anyway, so. All right. So I'm gonna press escape, and then I'm gonna do a dimension. That must have been a, yeah, that must have been an angle. It wasn't an actual, measured um, length measurement. It was an angle measurement. Okay, so now we want these to be dimensioned. So let's dimension that. Let's make that 0.75 as well. Let's do the same thing to this one. And you can see that it's it's not the alignment that I want. So I can press the right button and I can go aligned if I want to do that. Or I can just do a dimension from this line to this line and then I'll get the same result so 0.75 alright now it looks like we got something that's kind of usable alright now we don't need this line here and we can get rid of these lines as well so I'm going to go ahead and erase those I may lose some dimensions as I'm doing this let's see what happens um, where is my Trim, here we go. Trim, trim that, trim that. And then I'm going to trim inside here because this is the opening. And I'm going to trim these two. And I don't need this line and I don't need that line. So this is the end result essentially of what we're going to have. We also need to have a, a hose holder here. So let's make a hose holder. Do another circle, we'll just arbitrarily put it somewhere. And then we want it to have some kind of thickness, so I'm going to say a 0.5. I'm going to do another circle. We haven't dimensioned the inner circle yet. This has to be, I think, 2 and say 2.125, 2 and a quarter. Two, well, actually, 2 and a half because the hose kind of gets fatter in the accordion portion of it. All right, and then I'm going to dimension from here to here. And I would say this could be 0.5. It doesn't have to be as thick as this one. This is just holding a hose. It's not holding a 10-pound um, a router. Um, I can also move it away or move it closer or however I want to do that. I'm just going to press escape because I'm in the dimension mode here. I'll press escape move this away. I'm going to kind of eye it and see where I think it should be. Um, I think I want it, I would like to put it as close as I can, but I don't want this dimension getting any smaller, so this inner dimension I'd want outside of that. So I'm going to put that outside a little bit more just to have some safety factor. <clears throat> now I can get rid of some lines here. Let's trim. Or what I could do, actually, I'm going to make a construction line. Or actually, a dimension. Let's try a dimension. Because a dimension I would want to be always at a certain length. So I'm going to make that aligned. And I'll make this exactly that dimension. So, okay, that. And I'm going to press escape to get out of the dimension. <clears throat> and I'm going to try to move this and see where it moves. You can see that it doesn't move away from that line, which is exactly what I want. But look, everything else is moving too, so I want to try to constrain some other things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
where is the center? Okay, the center is here. So I'm going to use I'm just going to constrain this particular one off of the center using a dimension. Okay, here we go. All right, and I want it to be in this I don't want it to be aligned. I want it to be just as it's showing here. So I'll make this 4 for now. I'll probably make it an even 4. I'm going to want it closer, but right now I just don't know what that is. And let's see. I want to constrain this one to the center, and I can actually do that a different way. I can use one of these. I don't know what orientation I have it, so I'm just going to use this and see what... Yeah, you can see that there's a little line here that's formed. So I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to click on this, and it's going to constrain exactly to that that center mark that I have on the back plane. All right, so now I know that the blue is fully constrained. I don't. It's not going to move whenever I try to move something else. So what I can do is I can move this, and you can see that it's being moved wherever I kind of want it to be. I can move it back here if I want. Maybe the vacuum should be a little bit out of the way, but maybe it's going to hit something on the side, so maybe I'll want it to be more in the front. So let's move it closer to the front. And this one will obviously want to be moved away from this. Um, so I'm going to... I could actually make a dimension here, but I don't want to because I want to have the freedom to be able to move this without having to move this as well. So if I actually just move this point, it should turn. It is turning, but that's, it's weird that it's it's not keeping the same length. So I'm, I want it to keep the same length. Let me see what happens here. Yeah. So I'm going to make sure that this has a specific length. So let's dimension. Or I could have this be a length from the center, but I think I'd rather have it length from this outer edge, because that makes more sense to me especially when I'm going to be putting a screw right through the center dimension, yeah. Uh, why isn't it dimensioning? Alright, so I'm going to have to do this then. Aligned. Okay. So let's make this one inch. Make it a little longer. Now when I turn this, oh, let me escape the dimension mode. Yeah, you can see that it's staying its its proper length. So let's move this to here for now. And we also need to make sure that we have some way of connecting to the back. So I'm going to put a line here. Uh, arbitrary, completely arbitrary. And you notice that I, I, I went ahead and snapped according to a... Um, uh, a constraint. I could go off that and not constrain, but you can see it's also constraining to things that are around here. So I'm going to I'm going to make sure I'm constraining to this particular constraint because this is what I want anyway. And then I'm going to constrain. I'm going to go ahead and make a perpendicular line from that. And I'm going to have it coincide with the one over here. So I'm going to escape. I'm going to lengthen this one so it goes all the way. So it extends to it. I don't need to be in that anymore. And I don't really know where I am. You can see it's a little bit farther away from the from this point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, dimension. Or actually I can use this. Not that one. This one. I can. This point could be could co coincide with this origin. So now that's meeting that point that I want, and I don't need this line anymore. So I'm going to get rid of that line here. I don't need this line here anymore. I don't need this line anymore, and I don't need these lines anymore either. Let's see, I've made a little. Didn't quite get rid of this one, so I'm gonna click on that. Now you can see that this is probably a little bit too long, so I'm going to shorten this dimension here. So I'm going to escape out of what I was in. Double click on this dimension. 
make this three, see what happens. That looks like it's pretty good. And now you can also see that the width doesn't match the the back of the the router or the z-axis. But I don't really have to worry about that right now. I can just arbitrarily do a dimension and then I can later on have those two match in a sort of an Excel file or something like that. Or I can just make a match. Once I find the, the right width of, of this, 